The first time I met Kathy was on New Year's Day, and they had just started dating. And Neil was like, uh, she's just going to drop by to this all-day music festival we were at. You know, and I was like, does she even like techno music? And he was like, nah, I don't, I don't think so. But this is going to be the test to see if she's really down. <laughs> and I was like, this seems like a reason to get punched in the face. But again, like, maybe that's just me. Twelve hours later, we were still dancing. And she's still sitting here next to you today. Somehow, she's still sitting next to you here today. <laughs> As many of you in the room are aware, Kathy has many excellent qualities. She makes friends easily and brings people together. She is the best friend to throw into the mix at a party she doesn't know many people. It was rather remarkable to find someone, let alone in her 20s, so comfortable and open with who she was, not bothered by who thought knitting was a grandma thing or that nerding out over regressions was not super cool. <laughs> Here we all know Neil as an adult, his personal and professional successes, his Stanford PhD, his fancy job at the University of Michigan. We also know how much he loves Kathy. That's why we're here today. I've rarely seen him happier than when she finally agreed to start dating him after a false start or two years ago back in Ann Arbor. <laughs> and when she accepted his proposal last year in the south of France. But really, Neil, rose petals in the hotel room, did you think the Bachelor film crew was there? <laughs> In all seriousness, I look at Neil and the way that he loves Kathy and the way that he cherishes that relationship. And I think that gives me and I think gives all of us something to aspire to. After my parents and I first met Kathy, I don't think she knows this, but I left the restaurant and I said to them, I really hope Neil doesn't mess this one up. <laughs> I am so happy that today I can officially call Kathy my sister-in-law. Kathy, I am so happy that my brother has found his other half in you. Kathy and Neil are in a sweet spot where they work well both as a team and as individuals. Each of them knows who they are, what they value, and what they seek and look for in life. Many aspects of their personalities were defined by this city and they have made a lot of memories here together already. They are grateful to be surrounded by their loved ones in a city and place that reflect their individual and shared values. Neil, do you wear this ring with honor and joy as a symbol that you are committed to Kathy and to your life together? I do. 
Kathy, do you wear this ring with honor and joy as a symbol that you are committed to Neil and to your life together? I do. By the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Thank you all very much for coming and sharing this very special day with us. Have a wonderful time. Celebrate. Dear Kathy, on October 31st, 1984, you entered Moms in My Life. Following years passed with many memorable moments. Now that you have met the man of your dreams, be happy together and enjoy every moment of your new lives together. Neil, you finally met your match. You've met a brilliant, beautiful woman who communicates with you fearlessly, who listens to you, your science brain and all, who supports you and who challenges you. I got to know Neil during several stays at our home. I realized quickly that he had the intellect, spirit and disposition that matched him to Kathy. A perfect pairing, you could say. I wish them love, happiness, and their life together. Neil, you are kind, generous, dependable, and you have the biggest heart of anyone I know. You are my best friend, my biggest cheerleader, and my greatest love. I look forward to learning and growing with you and to exploring the world together. I love you. Kathy, right here, right now in Chicago, with you and all of the people we love the most, I have never felt more complete. I have been so incredibly fortunate in so many ways, yet I know that I speak on behalf of all of my family and friends here today in saying that you are the best thing that ever happened to me. I promise to love you unconditionally for who you are today, who you have always been, and who you will always be.